Hello there, this is Welsh ASMR 82. Hey, how are you doing? So, we are going to do another edition, as we do every week on this channel, of Football Scores in ASMR. Starting with the Premier League, we're going to work our way through all the leagues, we'll look at Italian, German, Spanish, Dutch, Turkish, Swedish, French, Scottish, Belgian, Danish, etc, etc. Until we leave Europe and we will take a look at Asian teams in Australia and others. And then we'll go to the Americas, we'll look at the MLS, Mexico, Canada and South America. I've added quite a few new leagues due to your requests. Keep them coming. This uh, video is now so big I'm doing it over like two days. <laughs> but it's, um, it's so fun and so many of you give me such awesome comments about how much you love this every week that it's no trouble. Should we get started? Okay, so Tottenham are still top of the Premier League. I'm starting to say this at the beginning of every video now. That's correct everyone, Tottenham top, Arsenal second, joint with Man City, Liverpool and Aston Villa are not far away. Brilliant start to the season for Aston Villa. Not far behind are Newcastle and Brighton, Man United struggling a little bit. And down the bottom we've got Luton, Burnley and Sheffield United with just one point so far. Okay, let's take a look at the most recent results then. So, we can see Tottenham edged out a very stubborn Crystal Palace team. Um, Ward with an own goal on the uh, 53rd minute. And then Son scored from a lovely cross from the Welsh wonder. <laughs> Brennan Johnson back from injury. And AU scored a lovely goal in the 94th minute. Man of the match uh, is Son. I think, was it Son's cross? No, it was Madison's cross that caused the own goal. Madison going to be like player of the season or something. for Not just for Tottenham, but for the Premier League as a whole. Um, Chelsea scuppered their much better performances and results recently by losing a home to Brentford. Pinnock and Umbemo with the goals. By the way, if you don't know what I'm using, this is FOTMOB, F-O-T-M-O-B. I get like three comments every video. What is it? FOTMOB. Um, okay, so Bournemouth beat Burnley in the Battle of the Bottom. Semenyo and Billing with a goal and Taylor for Burnley. Arsenal looked very good against bottom team Sheffield United and Ketty with a hat-trick, Fiera with a penalty and Tommy Asso 96th minute. And I watched this game, it was really entertaining. Wolves completely, completely changing my mind week on week. They are playing such attractive football. The managers really got them playing well. Two all with Newcastle, Limina and Huang and two goals from Wilson, one, never a penalty, sorry, but um, all good. Everton managed to win against West Ham, or having a little bit of a blip after a good start. Dominic Calvert-Lewin with the only goal when he plays, he scores, Everton get a result, but he's injured far too often. Aston Villa um, beating Luton 3-1, McGinn, Diaby and a goal from Lockyer, the Welshman. Martinez with an own goal as well. Brighton probably should have won this match. Palinia probably should have been sent off before he scored his equaliser on the 65th minute. Set up by Welshman, Harry Wilson. <laughs> Uh, one all, Ferguson, lovely goal in the first half. Absolutely wonderful from the teenager from Ireland. If I were a Brighton fan, I'd feel a bit aggrieved at the result. Um, Liverpool 3, Forest 0, Jota, Nunez and Salah. And then 
a big one, which wasn't really a big one in the end. Man City beating Man United 3-0 in Old Trafford. Two goals from Haaland and one from Foden. I think Onana had his best game in a Man United shirt. Had he not been playing that well, I think Haaland alone would have scored five. He stopped him so many times. It was incredible. Let's look at the stats. 21 shots on goal, seven big chances. And does it say how many saves there were? Passes, defense, duels, discipline. No, it doesn't say exactly, but if we go to the lineups, yeah, we're not basically the best player on the pitch, apart from Scott McTominay. And there's a lot of chat about whether Fernandez should be captain at the moment. Um, he tends to get very frustrated when the team are losing and he doesn't really help matters. He doesn't sort of encourage people to improve. He just tells them off and screams and shouts and argues with everyone at the time. So yeah, big questions on social media at the minute about his suitability as club captain. No question over his ability. But um, yeah. Okay, let's go to the championship. Leicester still top, having a, a almost record-breaking, I think it is record-breaking, start to the season. 13 wins out of 14, 39 points. Ipswich still hanging on there in second, doing well. Leeds, Southampton, West Brom. Cardiff, Hull, Sunderland, Preston, Middlesbrough, Stoke, Blackburn, Swansea, who won a match, hurrah, my team, Birmingham, Bristol, and then we go down and we get to Rotherham, QPR and Sheffield Wednesday. So Sheffield United bottom of the Premier League, Sheffield Wednesday bottom of the Championship, unfortunately. Okay, let's have a look at Saturday's results. Leeds beat Huddersfield 4-1. Dan James scoring two, having a fantastic season in the championship this year. Somerville scoring two, Helic with one for Huddersfield. Southampton beat Birmingham, of course Rooney's Birmingham. Stansfield scored for Birmingham, but Harwood Bellis, Alcaraz and Armstrong scored for Southampton. Then my team, Swansea, won away. Stunning goal from Cullen. Um having a fantastic season and trying to get him signed onto a new contract. Very difficult to, way, to win away at Blackburn. So that is a fantastic result. Cardiff, talking about fantastic goals. Colwell's goal in the 95th minute is an absolute stunner. That is a derby. I know it doesn't look like one. Different countries, but Cardiff and Bristol are very nearby. And um, it's classed as a derby for Cardiff. So curiously, it is for Swansea as well. So, uh, yes, very good win against the Robins. Hull beat Preston 1-0. Goal from Philogene Bidas. And Ipswich beat, beat Plymouth. Mumba, Hurst and Harness. And Whittaker and Edwards for Plymouth. Stoke won away at Middlesbrough. Rose and Leris with the goals. QPR lost home to Leicester, which is no, no shame really. Dozel but Mavidi and Winks. Sunderland beat Norwich, Hume, Neil and Clark. And then Huang scored for Norwich. And then Millwall drew with Watford away, Asprilla, Aspria and Rajovic, Fleming and Harding. And then on Sunday we saw Sheffield Wednesday beat Rotherham. Uh, two goals for Smith. Michael Smith. And lastly, West Brom won away at Coventry. Diangana and Thomas Asante. Let's go to League One then, shall we? So Portsmouth are top. Oxford are second. Still, Bolton third. Peterborough, Barnsley, Stevenage. And then we've got... Cambridge in 14th, Northampton in 20th, Carlisle, Fleetwood, Cheltenham, and Reading, or oh, really Reading down the bottom. Oops. Fixtures. Saturday were all the games, but looks of it. More games today, but a different set of results. Okay. Uh, different, whatever, match day. Barnsley 2, Fleetwood 2, Blackpool 2. 
2, Peterborough 4, Bristol Rovers 2, Northampton 1, Burton Drew with Leighton Orient 0 0, Cambridge B. Carlisle 1 0 with a goal from Thomas, Bolton 1 away, Charlton 2 0, Williams and Charles. Then we've got Exeter drawing at home with Lincoln 1 0, Oxford drawing 2 0 with Wickham, Rodriguez and Brannigan, and two goals from Lee. Luke Lee. Port Vale lost at home to Cheltenham 2 1. Reading lost at home to Tabletop as Portsmouth 3 2. Wing and Charlie Savage with the goals for Reading, Portsmouth, Anurin, Bishop, and Devlin. Stevenage beat Derby 3 1. Roberts, MacDonald, and Hemmings against Mendes Lang. And lastly, Wigan beat Shrewsbury 2 0. Humphreys and another Lang. It's going to lead two then, shall we? Stockport County are surprisingly top. Notts County second, Wrexham up in third. Mansfield, Crew, Morecambe and Accrington. And then from the bottom, Tramia and Sutton United. Let's look at results then, shall we? Saturday, Accrington lost home to Colchester 1-0. Barrow drew with Salford 0-0. Doncaster beat Grimsby 1-0 with a goal from Ironside from the penalty spot. Forest Green beat Crawley 2-1. Morton with two goals and Darcy with the one for Crawley. Gillingham lost at home to Newport 2-0. Bogler with two goals. Then uh, Harrogate lost at home to Crew 1-0. Mansfield 1 at home to Walsall 2 1. NK Don beat Swindon 3 2. Dean O'Hora and McCochran. And then Young and Blake Tracy with the goals for the away side. Morgan beat Wimbledon 4 1. Wrexham 1 away at Knott County. Lee and Palmer with the goals. Stockport beat Tramia 2 0 and Sutton United beat Bradford 2 1. National League Chester are Chesterfield are top, Barnet second, Bromley, Solihull, Holdridgeham, Halifax, and Aldershot. And then on the bottom, Maidenhead, York, Oxford City, and Kidderminster Harriers. All the matches on Saturday then. Boreham Wood, Southend won all. Dorking Wanderers beat Aldershot 2-1. Ebbsfleet lost home to Dagenham and Redbridge 1-0. Gated actually lost home to Fylde 4-0. Two for Horton, Ligenza and Oosterbassi. Hartlepool lost home to Rochdale 3-2. Kidderminster lost at home to Chesterfield 3-1. Uh, Brown for the home team and for the aways. Two from Banks and one from Grigg. Mainhead beat Eastley, 3 2. Oldham drew with Aldrichham, 2 all. Barnet won away at Oxford City, 2 0. Two goals for Stead. Solihull beat Wealdstone, 1 0. Walking lost home to Bromley, 1 0. And York City drew with Halifax Town, 1 all. Goals from McLaughlin and Oddy. OK, National North and South, Tamworth are top, then Scunthorpe, wow, it's a big team down there, South Shields, Spennymoor Town, Alfreton Town, Brackley Town and Chester FC. And the South, Yeovil at the top, another big team, Avely, Bath, Farnborough, Maidstone, Hampton, Richmond and Taunton. OK, loads of results. Um, Alfreton, 2-0 against Farlsley. Bath lost home to Worthing 2-0. Boston beat Gloucester 1-0. Goal from Ward. Danny Wright getting sent off for Gloucester City. Brackley drew with South Shields 1-all. Buxton drew with Rushall Olympic 2-all. Chelmsford and Taunton 0-0. Chorley lost home to Hereford 2-1. Curzon lost home to Chester 1-0. Darlington lost home to Spennymoor 2-1. Slough managed to get a draw away at Eastbourne Borough 3 all. 
Farm Rub beat Dover Athletic 4-0. Hampton and Richmond beat Torquay United 3-1. Two goals for Bloomfield and one for Seymour for the home team. Haven and Waterlooville drew with Weymouth 1-0. Emily Hampstead beat Dartford 2-1. Kings Lynn drew with Blythe 1-0. Scunthorpe hammering Bishop Stortford. Smith, Ogler, Evans, Denton and two for Whitehall. Southport lost home to Banbury 1-0. St Albans lost home to Avely 1-0. Tamworth beat Scarborough 2-0. Truro lost home to Tombridge Angels 2-1. Warrington lost home to Peterborough Sports 1-0. Welling United drew with Chippenham Town. Western Supermare drew with Maidstone 1-0. And Yeovil beat Braintree Town 2-0. Worthington and Hyde with the goals. OK, let's take a look at the women's Super League then, shall we? Man City women top, Chelsea women practically joined top, Tottenham third, and Bristol City bottom. Results of the weekend, Saturday, Aston Villa lost home to Tottenham 4-2. The goals from Tottenham coming from Neville, and a hat-trick from Thomas. That's Marta Thomas Wisman. She English, Scottish. Then Leicester lost home to Man City, 1-0 Kelly with the goal. Man United won away at Everton, 5-0. Chelsea beat Brighton, 4-2. Uh, three goals from Newskin and one from Beaver Jones. Newskin, German. And West Ham drew with Liverpool, one all, And Bristol lost home to Arsenal. McCabe scoring, Katie McCabe scoring both goals for Arsenal women. OK, let's head into the European continent then. Leaving England behind, let's go to warmer climates, shall we? Serie A, Inter top, Juve second. They were top for a couple of hours. Milan third, Atalanta fourth, Napoli Fiorentina, Lazio, Bologna, Roma, down the bottom, Empoli, Cagliari and Salernitana. Results, Salernitana lost to Genoa, goal from Goodmanson for the Genoese. Sassuolo and Bologna won all, Bolocca and Zirkse. Lecce lost at home to Torino, Buongiorno with the goal. And Juve beat Hellas Verona 1-0. 97th minute winner for Cambiaso. Cagliari got another win, 3, sorry, 4-3 against Frosinone. Oristanio, Macumbu and 2 for Pavoletti, cancelling out Sule and Brescianini for Frosinone. I watched this game, Inter beat Roma, Tuham scoring on the 81st minute. They definitely deserved Inter. But I thought Roma were gonna get gonna nick a draw in San Siro. And then Napoli drew with Milan, Politano Raspadori, and two from Olivier Giroud. Empoli lost at home to Atalanta Scamacca, who started to score lots of goals now, and Cope Mainers. And lastly, Lazio beat Fiorentina. 1-0, 95th minute, penalty for, from who else? Immobile. OK. Let's go to Germany, shall we? Much like the Premier League, Bundesliga is having a pretty exciting year. Leverkusen are legitimately top after nine matches. Bayern second, Stuttgart third. Dortmund 4th, Leipzig, Hoffenheim, Frankfurt just outside the top, and Bochum, Cologne and Mainz down the bottom. Friday, Bochum and Mainz drew 2 all. Stöger and Schlotterbeck. Schlotterbeck another own goal and Kraus on the 96th minute. 
then Augsburg beat Wolfsburg 3-2. Goals from Tietz, Bornau and Engels for the home team. Big win for Bayern against Darmstadt. Kane Hattrick, Sané got two, Musiala two and Müller with one. Harry Kane scoring from the halfway line, incidentally. Munchen Gladbach beat Heidenheim 2-1. Goals from Plea Föhrenbach and Dingchi for the away team. Stuttgart actually lost at home to Hoffenheim. Führich and Unda for the home team, but Brümel, Verkost and Sko for the away team. Werder Bremen beat Union Berlin. Knocher and with an on goal and Duksch. And Leipzig beat Cologne 6 0. Werner, 2 for Openda, Ram, Sesko, and Baumgartner. Some big score lines this week. And then this one, what a fantastic match. Frankfurt 3, Dortmund 3. Mamouche and Scheibe, but Sabitzer, Mukoko, and Brandt. Julian Brandt with the 82nd minute equaliser. I think they were 2 0 down at one point. Do the maths. Yeah, and then there was 3 1, and they. Oh no, 3. Maybe it was 2 all. Yeah, they got back to 2 all then. Frankfurt scored again, and then another equaliser. Well, Dortmund don't like to do it the easy way today. And lastly, Freiburg just lost out to Leverkusen, Wiertz and Hoffmann for the home team. It's not my Bundesliga 2 is all the way down there. Let me move it. Hang on. It's better. Okay, St. Pauli, Dusseldorf and Hamburger. The top and down the bottom, Schalke, unbelievably. Osnabrück and Eintracht, Braunschweig. Results this weekend. Eintracht, Braunschweig 1, Dusseldorf 4, uh, goals for the away team from Zolis, Vermeil, Siebert and Tanaka. Kodefurt beat Osnabrück 4-0. Hütter beat Paderborn 3-1. Goals from Tabakovic and Kenny. Schalke did actually win against Hanover 3-2. Goals from Lasme, Templeman and Karaman. St. Pauli beat Karlsruhe 2-1. Kaiserschlauten drew 3 all with Hamburg. Tomiak, Ritter and Boyd, Glatzel for two goals, and Muheim. And then on Sunday, Nuremberg beat Kiel away 2-0 with goals from Handwerker and Uzun. Helversberg beat Magdeburg 2-1, and Wiesbaden beat Hans Rostock 1-0. Let's go to sunny Spain, where there is also a weird title thing going on. So, Barcelona are actually the champions, and they are in fourth. Girona are joint top, having a sensational season. So that makes Real Madrid, Girona, Atletico, Barcelona, Real Sociedad and Athletic Club, the top six. And then down the bottom, Celta Vigo, Granada and Almeria. Results, Girona beat Celta Vigo on Friday night, 91st minute from Herrera. Almeria lost home to Las Palmas 2-1. In El Clasico, Jude Bellingham scored two goals for strikerless Real Madrid. Gundogan with the um, early goal for Barcelona. Uh, I can't remember the last time Real Madrid beat Barcelona in the Cup now. Uh, Mallorca nil, Getafe nil, Cadiz 2, Sevilla 2. Ramos Machis, Ocampos and Rakitic. Real Betis beat Osasuna 2-1, Rayo 2, Real Sociedad 2, Athletic Club um, just got that draw 2 all with Valencia, De Marcos and Berenguer on the 97th minute. Perez and Duro for Valencia. And then Atletico beat Deportivo Alaves. Riquelme and Morata with the goals for the home team. And on Monday, Villarreal beat Granada away, the away team Moreno scored two, and Surlot scored one. Quick look at uh, the second league in Spain. Leganes 
our top, a bar second. Then Sporting Gijón, Español, Levante Tenerife, down the bottom, Amore Vieta, Alcorcón, Huesca and Cartagena. Fixtures, Friday, a bar beat Real Valladolid 5-1, El Dense beat Amore Vieta 2-0, Andorra, who play in this league apparently, um, beat Levante 2-0, Sporting Gijón beat Espanyol 2-0, Elche beat Tenerife 2-1. Goals from Plano and Castro. Mirandes beat Cartagena 2-1, Huesca and Albacete 0-0. Leganes beat Real B 1-0, with a goal from González. Real Oviedo beat Alcorcón 2-0, and Racing Santander lost home to Racing de Ferrol 3-1. Burgos and Real Zaragoza drew one all. Goals from Matos and Mollejo. Let's head to the Netherlands. So, current champions Feyenoord off the pace down in fourth. Seven points now ahead and behind PSV. Alkmaar in second, 20 in third. Go ahead up in fifth. Unbelievably, Sparta, Rotterdam, sixth. Excelsior and Heracles. But the craziest thing of all is that not only is Utrecht down in the relegation spots, but so is Ajax, who are having their worst run in over a hundred years, I think I read somewhere. Friday, Vitesse and Zwolle won all. Herenveen beat Heracles 3-0, goals from Sarawi and two from Browers. Almeira drew with go-ahead 0-0, Sparta Rotterdam beat Valvik 2-0. Fortuna drew with Utrecht, nil, nil. Feyenoord lost away to FC Twente, Ugalde and Van Wolfswinkel with the goals. Gertreude scored for Feyenoord. And, let's wait a second, Volendam beat Excelsior 3-1. The Alkmaar game got called off. I can't remember why. Let me know in the comment section if I, I can't remember what it was. And yes, Ajax lost big, this time to PSV, 5-2. Hat-trick from returning Lozano, Irving Lozano the Mexican, De Jong and Saibari with Van de Boma and Paul Bay with two consolation goals for bottom of the table Ajax. Let's go to Turkey. Fenerbahce is still top over Galatasaray. Demirspor is there and Besiktas in fourth. Down the bottom, Basak Shehir, Bendikspor, Istanbul, Pulspor and Samsunspor. Okay, Friday, Hatay Spor lost home to Kayseri Spor 2-1. Kasum Basha beat Istanbul Spor 3-1. Alanya Spor lost home to Siva Spor 2-1. Demirspor beat Konya Spor 3-0. Goals from Niang. Two from him and one from Balotelli. Rizespor lost at home to Galatasaray 1 0. Oliveira with the only goal. Who is Oliveira? Oh, look, John Joe Shelby. Oliveira, who are you? Portuguese defensive midfielder. Um, then. Karagumruk drew with Trabzonspor 0-0, and Karaguchu beat Samsunspor 2-0, Antalya Spor beat Basak Shehir 1-0, and Bendik Spor lost at home to Fenerbahce 5-0. Can Bulat with an own goal, Kaveci and a Edin Dzeko hat-trick. He still got it. Besiktas also beat Gaziantep on Monday, Uchan and Tosun. Let's go to Sweden, where we are nearly finished. Two games to go. Elspor top, but it's still possible for Malmö to catch them. It's not possible for current champions. Hecken, they will lose their title this year. Hugh Gordon struggling to get to the European spots, but it is still possible. Down the bottom, however, Bruma Puikana could still save themselves, putting, shockingly, putting Gothenburg down. Deafosh are gone, as are Vabesh. So, let's 
so results and Bromo Boykin lost on to you Gordon 2-1 the away team Bergval and Falenius we got the gold Far, oh, the two bottom couldn't do anything to draw did no good for either of them Farbersch and Deforsch won all Norröping lost on to Malmö the goal came from Tallinn Kalmar lost home to Vernamo 3-1, Mielbu beat Hecken 2-1, Hele and Bergström with the goals of the home team. And the AK beat, um, no, sorry, drew with Amstad's 1-0. Hammarby drew with Sirius 2-0, Pesara and Djukanovic with the goals of the home team. And then Jettevar lost home to Elspo 2-1, all men on goal, and then the away teams Frick and Bernhardson with the goals. Could it be Elfsborg's year? We'll find out possibly next week. Maybe the week after. Okay, let's go to Fonds. Where we can see that Nice are on a title hunt this year. Under their new manager, Pesce, second, Monaco, third. And down the bottom, Lyon, having an Ajax season massive club and should never be done there. Friday Nice beat Clermont Foot 1-0, Boudaoui with the only goal. Hans beat Lorient 1-0, Lyons beat Nantes 4-0. Brest lost home to Berche only because of an 89th minute Mbappe goal. Lille beat Monaco 2-0, goals from Cavalero and Diacate. Metz Le Havre nil nil, Montpellier Toulouse 3-0 to Montpellier. Rennes Strasbourg won all, goals from Trouffer and Motiba. The Marseille Lyon game got called off because the Lyon bus was um, stoned and the manager got glass in his face. Pretty horrific, the match is going to be replayed at some point to be determined. Okay, let's go to Scotland. Celtic top, Rangers, second, St. Mirren, Gilly, Dundee and Motherwell, to the bottom, St. Johnston. Okay, Saturday, Hibs and Celtic actually got a draw, 0-0. Dundee won away to Livingston, 2-0 with goals, two from Shaughnessy, Joe Shaughnessy. Motherwell, three, Ross County, three. St. Mirren had a really big win over St. Johnston, 4-0. Bacchus, Kilty and two from Mandron, Mikael Mandron. Killy beat Aberdeen 2 0 with goals from Fassell and Watkins. And Rangers beat Hearts in the other Glasgow Edinburgh Derby. Tavernier with a goal. Oh my god. So Shanklin scored for Hearts on the fifth minute. And the two goals for Rangers came on the 90th and 93rd minutes. Tavernia and Danilo. Let's go to Belgium. I was watching all the goals because I do quite like this league. Very exciting league. Union saint gilloise top, Anderlecht second, Rent, Circle Bruges, Henk and Club Bruges. Current champions, Antwerp down in seventh. And right at the bottom, Leuven, Mechelen, Courtreich and Vestalo. Friday, St. Traude beat Molenbeek 2-1. Mechelen lost home to Circle Bruges 2-0. Then uh, Kaseupa beat Sporting Charleroi 2-0. Anderlecht got a big win against Leuven 5-1. Hattrick for Dreyer, Dolbe, the Dane and Stoikens with the goals. Club Rouge beat Royal Antwerp 2-1. Jutla and Van Acker. Veslo lost down to saint gilloise 3-1. The away team Lapusa, Eckert and Amura with the goal score. Gent beat Standard Liège 3-1. The home team, Kaupers and 2 for Tissoudali. Lastly, Cotreik lost at home 3-0 to Genk. The away team scorers were Munoz, Paintsil and Arocatare. Denmark then. Superligan. 
Copenhagen still top. Brimbu trying to catch them. Silkeborg third. Midtjylland, Norsjeland and Aarhus. Down the bottom, the Dora. I won't mind them getting relegated, so I don't have to try and pronounce their name every week. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, Friday, uh, Midjylland beat Jingbu, Jingbu 2-1. The home team, Osorio and Gabriel, were the scorers. Copenhagen beat that team, that I can't say. Vidora, uh, Leraya, Klaasson, Badri and Oskarsson. Uh, Vela, Ball Club, drew with Vibo 1 all. Silkebo drew with Odense 0 0. Brumbu beat Norseland 2 1. The home team scorers were Chris Gardner Values. And lastly, Arus beat Alondas 2 1. Serra and Beck with the goals. Portugal, Sporting still top. Three ahead of Benfica and Porto. Vitoria de Guimarães in fourth, Braga in fifth. Down the bottom, Vizela, Rio Ave and Estoril. Friday, Aruca lost home to Moriense, 1-0. Portimonense beat Estoril, 1-0 on Saturday. Benfica could only draw with Casapia, 1-0. Mario, his goal was cancelled out by Larra Tabal. Guimarães beat Chávez 5-0. Gil Vicente drew with Braga 3-0. Rio Ava lost home to Farense 3-4. Estrela da Amadora beat Famalica 1-0. Vizela lost at home to Porto. Taremi and Eustachio with the gold. And then on Monday, Bovista lost at home to Sporting. Catamo and Gosalves. Russian Premier League, Krasnodar still top, ahead of Zenit, could they be the first non-team called Zenit? <laughs> Zenit basically does, has, has had a monopoly and won the last like 10 years, it'd be so good to see someone different win it. I would have liked that to be my team Spartak, but we're having a terrible season. Okay, results, Friday, Rubin beat Baltica 1-0, Fakel beat Spartak 2-0, Markov and Maximov. They've already beaten Zenit this season as well. Rostov beat Lokomotiv 1-0. Krelis Ovidov drew with Orenburg 1-0. And Zenit beat Ahmad with goals from Sergeyev and Kassierra 2-1. Nizhny Novgorod beat Sochi 1-0. Dinamo beat Ural 2-1. And CSK actually did beat Krasnodar 1-0 with a goal from Fedi Chalov. Extra Klasa in Poland. Top are Slask, Wrocław, Jekyllona Białostok, and Lech Bosnian. Raka just took over, the current champions are in fourth. Down the bottom, you've got Puszcza, Niepolomolice, Ruch, Chorczow, and Łódź. Friday, Kielce beat. Puszcza 5-3, Wodz lost home to Kornik Zabrze 5-0. Warta Poznan and Piast 1-0. Pogon beat Jagliona 2-1. Um, uh, team scores Kuluris and Krosicki. Krakowie and Lech Poznań 1-0. Gita and Velde. Ruch drew with Slask. To all, the away team's goal scorers were Bega and Leiva. And then uh, Lubin lost home to uh, Ratomia Kradom, 3-2. Lege Vashava lost home to Stal Mialets. The away team scorers were Shkurin, Volkovic and Inokio. And Rakov Chestakova drew with with Vichu Watch. Greece. Panathinaikos top, Olympiago second, AK third, Pauk fourth, down the bottom, Volos. Okay, Saturday, Volos actually beat Kivisia, Kivisia 2 1, Atromitos beat Panatolikos 3 2, Asteras lost home to Lamia 1 0, 
Panathinaikos won 5 0 against Pensairakos. Goals from Sporar, he got two. Teligianidis, Cherin, and Mancini. Um, Aris beat Pass 2 0. AIK beat Paok 2 0. Pineda and Eliasson. And then Crete lost a home to Olympiakos 2 0. Both goals coming from Podense. Let's go to the Czech Republic. Slavia have just pipped Sparta Prague to the top. There's been a fight between those two. Victoria Pilsen have dropped down to fifth. Sigma Lomuta third and Mladabolis of fourth. Banigostrava sixth. Zlin down the bottom. Saturday's results. Uh, Hradec Kralove one. Teplice nil. Sigma Lomuta and Zlin nil nil. Dinamo Ceske lost home to Parabud. Pardubice 1 0. Slovatsko with Slovan Liberets 1 all. Panigostrava lost home to Jablonets. Mlade Bolesav beat Sparta Prague 3 1. Pesek for Sparta Prague, but Gusei Matejowski in Javo for Mlade Bolesav. Victoria Pilsen also lost a home to Karvina. The away goal coming from Kavos. And Slavia Prague. Beat the Bohemians away, Tomic and Chetil. Switzerland. Zurich are top. Young boy second, Singal in third. I suppose the big news are Baal down in bottom. So many big teams having terrible seasons this year. Okay, Saturday, Songal and beat Grasshopper 3 1. Even though Drew with Winter Tour. Vintatur one all. Zurich could only get a one all draw with Stad Lozanushi. Okita with a penalty against Harbi's return. Lausanne beat Baal 3 0. Goal from Sene and Sanchez. Lugano drew. Incredible result against Young Boys. Cimignani and Ugrinic. Servet beat Luzern 4-2. Norway, Elite Serian. Bode Glimt atop, far ahead away from Tromsø, and Bran with uh, Volaringa, Sanifjord and Arlesund down at the bottom. Saturday, Haugesund beat Arlesund 6-1. And on Sunday, Odd beat Hamcam 2-0. Sanifjord drew with Bran 1-all. Sapsborg drew with Stabek 2-all. Strömskose beat Viking 1-0 with a goal from Melkesson. Volleringa lost home to Rosenborg. Goals for the away side from Torvalson, Nelson and Setha. And then Bode Klimt beat Lilleström with goals from Mu, Pellegrino and Wembangomo. And lastly, Malta lost home to Tromsø, 4-1. Northern Ireland, Linfield still top by a country mile. Uh, Cliftonville, Larn, Crusaders, Glentor and Colleran down the bottom, Dungan and Swift. And results this weekend were um, Panamina drew with Dungan and won all. Carrick lost home to Glenavon, 3-1. Colerin lost home to Cliftonville 2 1. Crusaders and Glen Torren 1 all. Goal from Lowry and Donnelly. Joshua Robson sent off for the home team. Linfield beat Luff Goal. How did Luck Goal? I think someone said in the comments I should say Luck Goal. 5 1. And Neary lost home to Larn 2 1. Republic of Ireland. Have we finished? One round left, which means that Shamrock Rovers are champions and qualify for the Champions League qualification. Derry City and St. Patrick's are fighting it out for second spot and can't be caught by anyone else. UCD are already down and have been for quite some time, but Cork City can't save themselves from the relegation match, the relegation qualification match with the league below. 
Okay, results. Friday, Cork City lost home to Derry 1-0. Boyce with a goal for the away team. Dundalk beat Bohemian 2-0. Shelbourne beat UCD 3-2. St. Patrick's lost at home to Shamrock. Green and Burke with the goals. Sligo drew with Drogheda 0-0. And Cork City drew with Shamrock Rovers 0-0. Let's go to Wales. Said no one ever. <laughs> TNS. Only a couple of points ahead, but Connors Key have played a match in a match more. Down the bottom are still Aberystwyth, but Colwyn Bay also have eight points. Fixtures then on Friday. Connors Key beat Carnarvon 6 1. Pennebond lost a home to bottom team Aberystwyth 2 0. Goals from Taylor and Thorne. Ashley Evans getting sent off for the home team didn't help, I suppose. Colwyn Bay lost home to Barry Town 1 0. Goal from McLagan. Newtown and Haverford West drew 1 all. Pontypridd lost home to Cardiff Met 3 1. And TNS beat Ballatown 2 0. Goal from Clark and Probel. Right then, that's Wales done. Let's go to Romania. Uh, Stau Bucharest is still top. Cluj only a point behind now. Rapid are in third and Craiova in fourth. Whilst Himmelstad and Petrolul are in fifth and sixth, and down the bottom are Potosani, Dinamo Bucharest very, very uh, dangerously positioned. Friday, Voluntari lost on to Sepsi 2 0. Dinamo Bucharest drew with um, Yash 0 0. Hermannstad got him a draw away at Otsalun Galatz, one all. Petrolul drew at home to Stau Bukarest, two all. Goals from Jair and Grozav, Djukovic and Baluta. Grauva lost home to Arad, three two, and Rapid beat Univers Universitatea Krajova, two nil. Goals from Bang Pam Kboy and Baye. Botosani lost home to Cluj, Universitatea Cluj, 3-0, and the other Cluj beat Farol Costanza 3-1, with goals from Juricic and two from Muhar. Austria, Stungratz atop, not Salzburg, who are in second. And Lasker in third, Austria Klagenfurt are in fourth, Hartberg and Rapid Vienna make up the top six, and down the bottom are Austria Lustenau. Results. Saturday, Linz beat Wolfsburger 2-0. Salzburg beat Altach 3-0. Goals from Dedic, Kiaga and Konate. Klagenfurt beat Tirol 1-0. Lustenau lost at home 4-0 to Hartburg. Uh, Stuttgart lost at home to Austria Vien 1-0. Goals from Kruber. And Rapivien drew with Lask 3 all. Croatia, where we've got um, a three way fight, possibly even four way, for the title this year. Normally it's Dinamo Zagreb's to lose. Quite excitingly, Rijeka are top and Split are second. Down the bottom are Rudesh. Okay, Friday, Hajduk. Split one away to Slavin, one nil. Penalty by Livaya. Rudesh and Varazdin drew nil nil. Osiak beat Istra three one. Rijeka with a goal from Pasalic beat Gorica. Dinamo Zagreb beat Lokomotiva two one. Goals from Baturina and Kanenko. 94th and 97th minutes to cancel out Lokomotiva's fourth minute lead. So Israel's been called off until at least December. Let's go to North Macedonia. Shkupi top, Shkendia second, Struga third, down the bottom are Vardar, Skopje. Saturday saw so Silex draw with Bregalnica, nil-nil. 
Vardar Skopje bit prera strumica on nil on sun, Sunday. Kosti Vardar bit struka 2-1. Shkendia drew with Voska Sport 1-0. Goals from Shala and Bayrami. Macedonia drew with Tikves, Kavardac 1-0. And Shkupi bit Rabnot, Rabotnitski 3-0. And then Struga bit Vardar Skopje 4-0. Ibrahimi Mazrekai, Tairi and Jarovic with the goals. Azerbaijan Zira are still top ahead of Karabar. And down the bottom are Kapaz. Oops. Results. Uh, Saturday, Zira and Sabail drew to wall. Turantovus beat Kapaz 4 0. Sum Kayet drew with Kabala 0 0. Nefci lost a home to Sabah, a 95th winner from Letic. And Aras beat Karabah, well, 2-1, goals from Aliyev, penalty and Sukisa. Juninho scoring in the 97th minute for Karabah. Bulgaria, Chinomoria are on top. Same points as second place, CSK Sofia. Lokomotiv Plovdiv, third and another time, another league where the current champions are struggling a little bit. In this case, Ludogorets Razgad down in fourth, and bottom of the table are Etar. And results were as follows. So Friday, Slavia beat Grumovgrad 2-0, Siske drew with Arda 0-0, Beroje beat Levski 2-1, goal from Politino and Godoy. And then Ludgorets beat Hebar 3-1, Tech Petty, Witzri and Rick with the goals for the home team. Um, I feel like I've missed a league. Yeah, I've missed a couple. <laughs> Ukraine, Krivbas are top. Polisa are second, Dnipro third, Shachta down in fourth, Dinamo Kiev down in 7th, Vosklar down in 9th, and Zoria down in 14th, Minaj down at the bottom. Results, Saturday, Grivbas beat Dnipro 3-0, goals from uh, Kuzik and two from Kolos Zhushko. Kolos drew with Dinamo Kiev, Luchkevich and Timchik with the scorers. Sorry, lost to home to Polisa. 1-0 goal from Makawana. Shakhtar was called off against Chinomoritz. And Ruch drew 0-0 with Alexandria. Cherkasi beat Obelon 3-0. Minaj actually drew with Veres, both of them at the bottom, 0-0. And Voskla drew with Metalist 2 all. Kazakh Stan or the Basishim Kent top, Astana second, Aktobe third, uh, Kaspiak Town and Aksu down the bottom. Saturday, Maktaral beat uh, Petro Pavlovsk 2 1, Kairat beat Aksu 4 1, Tobol Kostane drew with Kaspiak Town 1 all, Astana beat Jetusutal de Gorgan 2 1. Calls from Tosmagen Betov and I'm Betov, 96th minute winner. Ogjeptes drew with Aktobe, one more. Kaiser beat Atera, one nil, and Ordbase beat Shachte Karagandi, three one, with calls from Jacques Selikov, Umarov, and Biesiedin. Oh, has the season finished or something? Oh, maybe it has, actually. Because then Sunday, so those were Saturday of the week previous, and then Sunday were the final game, so I guess the season's over. 14 times 2 is 28, take away 2, 26, yeah, it's over. The last games were Tobol Kost and they beat Aksu, 3-0. After that, Drew with Kairat, 0-0. Kaiser won away at Petro Pavlovsk, 1-0. Nil, Aktober drew with Jetasu 2 all. 
uh, Kaspi beat Ordova Sashimkin 1 0 with a goal from Avrich from the penalty spot. Ogjeptes drew with Maktara 1 0 and Shakhtar Karagandi drew with Astana, Tatebaev and Shatsky with the goals. Shatsky with an own goal. So the final table of the year is actually Ordebasi have won the league. Wow. So that's a new winner as well. Astana are usually the winners. So Ordebasi get into the Champions League qualification playoffs. And we say goodbye to Aktau and Aksu. Bosnia. Someone asked me to bring in Bosnia, so I did. Borac, Banja Luka are top. Zrinski, Mostar are second, Sarajevo third. Down the bottom are Zvijezda. Results. Uh, Friday, Igman actually beat um, Zeljeznikar 2-0. Sloga the boy beat Sarajevo 3-0 and Luka beat Brieg 1-0 with a goal from Chavic. Zvijezda drew with Velez Mostar 0-0. Posusje drew with Zrinski Mostar 2 all. Goal from Maric Begic, um, Bilbia and Ivancic. And Tuzla drew with Cabela 2 all. Someone also asked me for the Armenian League, so I added that. Punic are top, perennial champions, Ararat Aminia are second and Noah third, love the name, Fan are down the bottom. Results, Saturday, Fan lost home to Ararat Ar Armenia 2-0, West Armenia lost home to Punic 3-2, the away side got goals through Hendrix, Haruchunyan and James. BKMA beat Ararat 2-0, Noah beat Alashkert, the home team scorers were Miranyan, Mbukani, Alhaft and Mov Sesyan. And Uruartu drew with Shirak 2 all. Right, I think therefore that's it for Europe. Okay, we're going to go to Asia now. We've got Australia, Saudi Arabia, Korea, and someone asked me to add um, UAE as well. And then we'll head off to the Americas, where we've got the Colombian League added for the first time as well. Okay, A League should be week two. Yes, Adelaide are top, Melbourne second, Western Sydney in third, Brisbane, MacArthur and Wellington Phoenix up in sixth. Melbourne City with a poor start and Sydney. Wow down towards the bottom. Okay, Friday, Brisbane Raw beat Sydney 3-0. Goals from uh, Milius Nitsch and two from Hora. Wellington Phoenix beat Perth Glory 2-1. Savada and Krajev were the goals for the home team. Western Sydney Wanderers beat Western United 5-0. Two goals from Brook, two from Milanovic and one from Marcelo. Central Coast lost home to MacArthur 2-1. The away teams, Jama and Bakus, were the scorers. Melbourne Victory beat Newcastle Jets 5-3. The home team scorers were Velopile and 1-2-3-4 for Fornaroli. And Adelaide beat Melbourne 6-0. Iran Kunda, Talbot, Tunnicliffe, Toure and 2 from Bernardo. Wow. Bad start for Melbourne. Okay, Saudi Arabia. Al Hilal starting to pull away at the top. Despite the fact that Neymar is basically out for the entire season. Al Nasser a second. Al Thawun still hanging on in the, in the Champions League spots. Al Ahli now in fifth. Al Ittihad with Benzema in sixth. Al Ittifaq are in seventh. Down the bottom are Arayad, surprisingly. Results. Thursday, Khalid drew with Thawun 1 all. Damak beat Akhtud 2 0. But Al Ittihad could only get a draw against Al Hazim. Benzema did score with Kadesh, but Afani and Suleimani. 
equalized. Atai beat Ariad 3 2. Arayad lost Omd al Fateh 2 1. And Al Hilal beat Al Ahli 3 1. Some maximum scoring for the away team, but Milinkovic Savic, Mitrovic, and an own bizarre on goal from Ibanez. As a Roma fan, <laughs> he's chaos. He is having a wonderful match, and then he just headed it into his own net. N there wasn't even another player in like within a mile of him. So bizarre. And uh, Abha beat Ashabab two one. Afeya lost home to Anasir three one. Talisco with two and Otavio with one. Did Ronaldo play? Yes, and he got an assist. And Etivak won away at El Westa 3 2. Ginny Wild with two goals and DeAndre Gray with one. Off to Korea. So I think we're in the final stages now. The teams have been split into the two groups. The final groups. Ulsan are top. It's going to be really difficult to catch them. Pohang in second. Guangzhou, surprisingly, in third. Jeonbuk, Incheon, and Daegu. So FC Seoul is in the second group, as are Jeju. Suwon, wow, big team. A couple of years ago, they would win the league every year. Shocking that they're down in the relegation spot. Let's look at results then. So, Saturday, John Book drew with Pohang 1 all. Goals there from Gustavo and Zeka. Both penalties. Guang Wan drew with Jeju 1 all. Incheon 1 away, that's my club. 1 away uh, to Guangzhou 2 0. Choi and Kim. Su Wan drew with Daejeon 2 all. Ulsan beat Daegu 2 0 with goals from Kim and Zhang. And Su Wan lost home to Seoul. Three, four, four, three. Let's go to the UAE. Al Ain, Al Top Al Wasal, second. Shabab third. Sharjah fourth. Al Jazeera fifth. Al Wahda sixth. So many big clubs. Down the bottom, Ajman and Hatta. And Friday we saw Al Bate draw with Ajman. Hatta lost at home to Awasal 5-0. al Wahda beat Kalba 2-1. Shabab al Ahli drew with al Nasser 3-all. The home team scorers were Victor, Kartabia and Ghassani. al Ain beat Emirate Club 3-1 with goals from Eric and two from Laba. Khorfakan beat Al Jazeera 4-2 and Sharjah beat Banias 5-0, Taliabue, Kayu, Marega, Labi, and Kamara. Okay, let's head to the Americas then. We're into the knockout fixtures of the MLS now. So let's have a little look at the results. So Philly should have been the first one. Okay, so... Ooh, I don't know. Anyway, I think in the quarterfinals they were as follows. Philadelphia beat New England 3-1. Gazdag, Ura and Harriel. Boo with the consolation goal. Um, oh, they're two-legged ties. Okay. So LAFC beat Vancouver 5-2 with goals from Hollingshead, Buanga and Murillo. Houston beat Salt Lake 2-1, gold from Herrera and Bassi. Cincinnati beat New York Red Bulls 3-0, gold from Barriol and Acosta. St. Louis City lost a home to Sporting Kansas 4-1, Parker's goal cancelled out by Ndembe, Walter, Kinder and Saloy. Uh, Orlando beat Nashville 1-0, Cartagena with a goal. Seattle beat Dallas 2-0, Rusnak and Morris. And lastly, oh, hasn't been played yet. Columbus is going to go up against Atlanta tonight. 
and Canada, I think, is all done. It looks like Forge have won it, which is kind of harsh on Cavalry, because Cavalry were 17 points ahead, but this is the nature of the playoffs, isn't it? So Cavalry lost to Forge after extra time. 2-1, Badibanga and Borges cancelling out Muse's goal. All the goals scored after the 100th minute. So nil-nil in full time. And then Forge pulled ahead. Sorry, Cavalry pulled ahead and then Forge got two goals in six minutes. It looked like a really exciting game. And the Canadian division is over for another year. Not forgetting Mexico, America. Top five points ahead of Tigres now, Monterrey. Getting um, up to third Chivas. And Cruz Azul still, still struggling down the bottom. So, results from the weekend specifically, because they played midweek games as well. Necaxa beat Universidad Nacional 1-0. Mazatlán beat Querétaro 3-0. Cruz Azul beat León 1-0. Sepulveda with the only goal. Tigres won away. Archivas 4-0, Ibanez got 2, Linus and Flores, Pachuca 3 with Puebla, Diorio and Velasco, Monterrey lost home to America, Rodriguez with 2 goals and Sendejas with the 3rd, Toluca beat San Luis 3-1, Santos beat Juarez 5-1, uh, goals from Preciado, Torres, Correa and 2 for Brunetta, Tijuana beat Atlas 2-0. Extra games today. Querétaro losing home to Chivas. Toluca losing home to Puebla. Leon and Universidad drawing and Monterrey beating La Caxa 3-0. Brasileirao. Botafogo still top. Six points with a game in hand over Palmeiras. Red Bull dropping down to third now. Flamengo dropping down again to fifth. But my club, Atletico Mineiro, up to sixth now. Curiously, Fluminense are in the final of the Copa Libertadores. Um, if they don't win it, won't make the tournament at this rate. Four points away. Down the bottom, Goyas, Vasco de Gama, Curitiba, America. Santos pulling out of the relegation zone for the first time in weeks. Okay, matches. Friday, Santos beat Curitiba 2-1. Goal from Bianchi and Leonardo. America lost home to Grêmio 3-4. The away team scorers were Reinaldo, Everton, Suarez and Cristaldo. Palmeiras beat Bahia, Bahia 1-0. Vega with a goal. Amerigo, Atlético Mineiro beat Fluminense 2-0. Paulinho with both goals. Atletico Paranaense drew with Sao Paulo 1 all. Goyash with Vasco da Gama 1 all. Corinthians with Santos 1 all. Big game. Lucas with an own goal and Mendoza in the 100th minute of 10 minutes of extra time. I think that's a Rio derby, isn't it? Santos Corinthians. Internacional lost home 3 4 to Coritiba. Botafogo lost a match to Cuiabá. The away team scored through Pita. And Bahia. Beat the Fluminense 1-0. Quick look at Serie B. Vittoria top. Sport Recife second. Allegico Co. and Cruciuma. Down the bottom. ABC Londrina. Chapucoense and Tombense. Friday, Sierra was the winner of a Sport Recife. Guarani lost on to Botafogo. Novo Rosontinho beat Ponte Preta 2-0. Cruciuma beat Sampaio 3-0. Ituano and Mirasol uh, drew 0-0. Villanova beat Atletico Go 2-1. Londrina drew with CRB 1-0. Vitoria drew with Juventuji 0-0. And Chapuquense lost on to Tom Benzi 2-1. So the full league has finished with the River Plate in Argentina winning. 
but the cup is ongoing, so let's take a look at that. I was looking at it the other night, trying to understand how it works. Copa de la Liga Profesional basically is like another league. So the because the Argentinian league is quite big, it's about 28 teams, um, much larger than a normal European league, and so they split into two. Now I don't know how many fixtures are there. It looks like everyone plays everyone once. Okay, recent results then. It's got a Friday, oh, seems to be playing like every day. I'll do it from Friday. Lanús beat Tigre 2-1. Old boys lost home to Godoy Cruz 2-0. Boca drew with Estudiantes 0-0. Instituto lost home to Vélez Sarfield 1-0. Goal from Aquino. Colón beat Atlético Tucumán 1-0. Rosario Central beat Juniors 3-1. And Gimnasia lost home to River Plate 2-1. Goals from Diaz and Rondón. Independiente, Arsenal Sarandí 0-0, Tajeres Banfield 0-0, Lanús beat Belgrano 2-0, Sarmiento beat San Lorenzo, no, Drew with San, San Lorenzo 0-0, Huracán Drew with Barraca Central 0-0, Club Platense Drew with Newell's Old Boys 0-0 and Tigres beat Godoy Cruz 1-0, and today Central Colopa beat Union 2-0. Chile, then Colombia, and then we're done for this colossal video. It's taken me two days to record. Cobresal are still top, Huachipato Colo Colo. Down the bottom, Magallanes and Curico Unido. And uh, Union La Calera lost home to Huachipato 4-2. The away team scored through Rodriguez, Montes Martinez and Martinez. Curico lost home to Cobresal 2-1. Lescano and Pacheco scored for the EOA team. O'Higgins lost at home to Universidad Cotal Católica 3-0. Coquimbo Unido beat Unión Española 3-1. Deportes Copiapo beat Magallanes 2-1. And Palestino beat Colo Colo 1-0 with a penalty from Carrasco. And lastly, Audax Italiano beat New Blense 1-0. This time Colombia at your request. Rio Negro Aguilas is top. I didn't see that coming by four points. Calia second, Medellin third, Tolima, Atletico Nacional Millonario, so down in sixth. Uh, Junior de Port Cali. Down the bottom are Envigado. Okay. Again, we seem to be playing like every day. I'll go from Friday. Once Caldas drew with America de Cali 1 all goes from Lemos and Cardona. Atletico Nacional beat Alianza Petrolera 2-0. Uh, Atletico Huila drew with Santa Fe 2 all. Tolima beat Unión Magdalena 2-1. America de Cali beat Millonarios 1-0. Go from Adrian Ramos. That is that for today. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click a like. Leave me a comment. Tell me if you had a good week or a bad week with your club. Talk to me about any um, interesting things, crazy things, gossip that's happened recently that you know of. If you're new to the channel, pl click, 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 but then also click, subscribe. And lastly, if you love the channel and you want to support me further, just go to Patreon and Look at the options there. Extra videos every month. Okay, thank you so much for watching. And um, plans to do a Champions League for Asia soon. And a preview to the Copa Libertadores. Which is happening in three days, so I better get my uh, act together. Okay, see you guys really soon. Take care.